Hi, my name is Zach Ciotta. I am the host of the HVAC Shop Talk podcast and owner of this YouTube channel. The other day, we had a question about ductwork and whether or not you could use two elbows in a duct system. Well, the short answer is yes, but there are better ways to do turns, 90 degree and 45 degree turns in a duct system, and there are worse ways. And I thought I would use my third grade drawing ability to show you a little bit about what I was talking about. So here's a quick look at some of the good and not so good ways to run a duct system. So we're going back to the drawing board here, literally and figuratively. And let's just draw out the beginning of a duct system. We're going to say this is our air handler right here. You have to forgive some of my drawing abilities as they are awful. And there are several ways to come off of an air handler. Now I'm going to show you a bad way. And I'm going to show you this because I've actually done this before. Put a stock box on the front of an air handler, like from a supply house. And then put a collar in the top of it, like an A collar. And then run your duct up like this. And then turn it like this. Now, the issue is with this is that that is about the most idiotic way to start a duct system you possibly can. And I can say that because I've actually done that before. And the inspector came to me and said, why did you do that? And the reason why he was asking me why I did it is because there's no reason to use a deadhead box to start a duct system. You have all that air velocity and you're just killing it right out of the gate. So I'm going to actually show you a different way to do it. We're going to draw our air handler again, skillfully, might I add. And let's try this. Let's have a squared round. A lot of you guys know what that is. And my drawing is not going to be good. So let's say we have a square connection and it's going to kind of go to round like this. That is the most awful way that I could draw that. And I'm very sorry. But a lot of you know what a squared around is. And then you can have an elbow turning up. And then you can have your elbow turning back like this. This is just an example. But with your elbows, we'll call this elbow number one and elbow number two. There's a lot of ways you can improve airflow through elbows. And it really depends on what kind of elbows you're going to use, whether it be round or rectangular and how they're made. So let me show you some examples of that real quick. We won't keep those too long, guys. I want to keep these tech tips relatively short. So let's just look at a couple different elbows. Here's a bad example of an elbow. Something that has these 90 degree areas right here and right here. And air is going to have a difficult time, you know, coming around the corner like this because you have these rigid areas here, these 90 degree areas, which are not conducive to good flow. So if you go to an elbow that's rounded off, like this, it's going to be a heck of a lot better for airflow because it's going to naturally guide the air around. And if you have rectangular elbows like this that are rounded off, a lot of times they're shaped like this. You have a 90 degree throat on one side over here, and then you'll have a rounded edge on this side. A nice thing to do for rectangular elbows is to go ahead and you can put turning veins inside of them. It'll help guide the air around like this. It's a heck of a lot better than having no turning veins or having the straight edges like this. So that's just another tip right there, guys. And just the last thing I'm going to say is a lot of round elbows have gores. And what I mean is, let's say this is a round elbow. What I mean is round pipe. And like I said, this is the worst drawing in history. A lot of them have gores. They're made out of like three sections or two sections like this. The more gores they have, typically the better they're going to be for airflow and the more adjustment possibilities you'll have. I know this is a bad drawing, so I'm going to put up a good picture of what I'm talking about on the screen here, and you can get kind of an idea of what I mean. So that's just some quick tips about airflow. Use the right elbows if you can. Of course, you're kind of limited sometimes by what your boss is going to let you use or what you have time to use or what is carried in the supply house. But it's always good to use something that's better for airflow if you can. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to do more videos like this on, on a whole lot of different subjects out there. So stay tuned to that, and I will see you on the next one.